Today on X Play, it's our glorious one hour holiday buyer's guide spectacular. You saved your hard earned cash, now we'll help you blow it. We've got the best games this holiday season for the Xbox 360, the Red Hot Wii, and the newly surging PS3. Plus, the best titles for the DS, PSP, and more. Let's hope you've been good, boys and girls, or you might end up with Kane and Lynch in your stock. What the is going on? It's game time. Were it so easy? Hello and welcome to X Play. More specifically, welcome to our fifth annual Stuff You Should Buy to Give to People When It's Cold Special, better known as the One Hour Special X Play Holiday Buyer's Guide. Oh, seven! Yeah. On today's show, we'll make your Christmas shopping a bit less painful with our suggestions for what to buy for Xbox 360 owners who just haven't had the cash to keep up with all the big releases. Plus, we'll warn you which games to stay away from as you prowl the aisles. And we'll give some surefire thank you no catalyst for Wii players in your life. But first, let's kick off with the cream of the PlayStation 3 crop. Anyone who owns a PlayStation 3 absolutely must have a copy of Ratchet & Clank Future Tools of Destruction in their game arsenal. Ruler of the Universe! Not only did it get a 5 out of 5, it's truly the first must-buy game for the system. From the wide array of innovative weapons, terrific action set pieces, and old-school platforming fun, you owe it to yourself to give these tools a try. Ninja Gaiden Sigma is more than just a shiny remake of the original Xbox game. It includes changes to the layout of some environments and adds a handful of new bad guys and bosses along the way. Okay, that may not sound like much, but thanks to those refinements, this may just be the zenith of the action genre. Plus, a new mode allows you to see what sexy fiend hunter Rachel was doing while Ryu was out putting dinner on the table. Here's a hint, she wasn't watching Oprah. The Eye of Judgment proves that Nintendo isn't the only company inventing new ways to play. Here's how it works. You lay down a mat, place your cards on top, and the eye toy identifies each one. It then animates attacks and magic spells, turning your boring old car battle game into a full-fledged cinematic experience. It doesn't hurt that the underlying mechanics are pretty fun, even if the game's tutorial lasts about 30 times too long. Fascinating. No, no it's not. Warhawk may have dropped a bunch of features it originally promised, but the streamlined game actually turned out quite nicely. Now, the only catch is that it's multiplayer only, but once you experience a few online skirmishes, you'll probably forget about playing solo. You can purchase Warhawk in retail stores with an included headset, or you can just buy it through the PlayStation Network for about 40 bucks. Either way, it's a good deal that'll last you a long time. Uncharted Drake's Fortune is a rip-roaring adventure yarn that attempts to pull off the quirky feeling of an Indiana Jones romp. Whoa there, cowboy. <sighs> and mostly succeeds. Despite a cornucopia of corny cliches like collapsing walkways and explosive barrels, we had a fun time tracking down this game's lost treasure. You make it sound so dirty. Sorry. What are you waiting for? Get out there and snag a copy for the Harrison Ford Stucker on your shopping list. Does he always go on like this? <laughs> A game doesn't have to be stuck on one system to be great, as we all know. In the spirit of the season, here are some A-listers that aren't afraid to spread the love around. Venturing outside the realm of exclusives, there's no shortage of top titles that take a more agnostic approach to their platforms of choice. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. For the military hardware fetishist on your list, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is about as good as it gets. An intense offline campaign lets the game stretch its prodigious graphical legs. The seller online play, with unlockables and bonus challenges galore, guarantees COD4 will be a gift that keeps on giving. 
Your price is no object for that special someone on your nerd gift list. Look no further than Rock Band. With guitar, drums, and microphone included, Rock Band provides all you need for some multiplayer holiday cheer. Dozens of songs to play, plus even more available for download, provide something to suit all musical tastes. Form a band and land a recording contract and become a rock god from the comfort of your own gift wrap strewn living room. Just make sure you have enough space to set up the drums and no stage diving off the couch. Start small, like off an ottoman or something. The Orange Box offers possibly the most bang for your holiday buck, with five of the best first-person shooters around in one convenient pack. The full Half-Life 2 saga to date is joined by the charming and addictive Portal, and to foster brotherhood between men and the occasional woman brave enough to venture into the online gaming wilds. Team Fortress 2 is a whimsical but rewarding multiplayer offering. Altair might not join you for a round of Silent Night, but that doesn't mean he shouldn't be under the tree. With a tremendous living world to explore and incredible animation, Assassin's Creed is a unique game that will sublimate anyone's desire to take a hit contract out on their overly friendly uncle. Challenging stealth kills and slick swordplay are the watchwords as the Animus virtual reality machine dials back the clock to 1191 for a Holy Land odyssey in the ancient cities of Damascus, Acre, and Jerusalem. Now that's a down-home Christmas. Lay down what you have stolen for me! Finally, 360 and PC owners get a special treat in the form of Bioshock, a first-person shooter unlike any other released in 2007. Stranded in the failed Utopia Rapture deep below the ocean, you must battle your way past legions of deranged and ran fans to regain your freedom. Stunning art direction and a truly engaging story complement the innovative plasmid system, which allows you to summon anything from electricity to bees to aid you. And you'll need all the help you can get when you confront the terrifying Big Daddies. By turns creepy, beautiful, haunting, and explosive, Bioshock is a must-buy for all your loved ones. Fun suggestion, throw in a copy of Atlas Shrugged for a little light bathroom reading between play sessions. The holidays can be hectic, I know, but in this season of tradition and remembrance, be sure not to forget the time-honored ritual of keeping your PC hardware up to date. Otherwise, how will you play these great games? The console wars are getting so much attention this holiday season, PC gamers might feel neglected. Here are five reasons why they shouldn't feel left out in the cold. Scratch one problem. You are looking at the largest scale real-time strategy game ever created. Supreme Commander pits humans, robots, and alien worshipping nutjobs against each other in a battle royale for complete domination of the solar system. You command literally hundreds and hundreds of units at once. Plus, you get to drop bombs like Harry S. Truman. It's not fun. What do you do when you combine a witch with a sorcerer? You get the witch -er. In an industry where you can't throw a rock without hitting a derivative RPG, The Witcher succeeds at creating a fresh voice. Witchers are badass magicians who specialize in killing monsters and one-night stands. Won't you stay just a bit longer? The Witcher offers a massive world to explore rich with side quests and interesting NPCs. A perfect stocking stuffer for any gamer who likes RPGs full of drinking, sex, and rabble-rousing. Which I guess is all of us. If you want maximum holiday bang for your buck, you can't do any better than Galactic Civilizations 2 Dark Avatar. It's technically an expansion pack to Galaxy of 2, but there's enough content here to fill up a proper sequel. With dozens of worlds to conquer and a gaming experience as intricate as you want it to be, Galactic Civilizations 2 Dark Avatar will consume your life. And you get it all for 20 bucks. Bad Colonel's high impression not included. Track off! Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer is an expansion that picks up right after the events of Neverwinter Nights 2. It's an improvement on the original in almost every way. Chocolate! The storyline is sober, you'll have access to major spells right from the beginning, and the characters are top notch. Sort of like me, only they're not as smart or as good looking. Gears of War PC is the game to scratch your ultra violence edge. Gears PC includes all the great action from the Xbox 360 version, plus five hours of entirely new gameplay. Hey, stupid! 
the war summoners! Come and get me! Gears PC now includes the epic battle Marcus Phoenix and friends went through to reach the train station. The long, bloody road culminates in a grudge match with the Brumac, the biggest, meanest son of a bitch this side of John Goodman. Add in the award-winning multiplayer mode and you have a PC package that's hard to resist. Whether you like ripping the face off a locust or contemplating your next move for hours, the PC has something for everyone. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. It should really be emphasized that The Witcher does feature some pretty mature themes in the sex and violence department. You should probably reserve it for the more adult gamers on your list. And by adult, I mean the kind of person who wants to see polygonal breasts. And that's as good as an introduction as I can give to the X-Play staff picks. All right, my holiday pick is Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. There is no better game you can get this year for the PS3. And you know what? It's just a lot of fun, period. This year I recommend Orange Box. Oh, and Rock Band. For 2007, I recommend Scrabble on Facebook. WWJP. What would Jesus play? This holiday, Jesus will be playing Halo 3. When I'm not drinking mint juleps, I'm playing Bioshock. We recommend High School Musical. Sing it! Because it has non-threatening boys in it. The only thing better than talking to your family this holiday season is rocking with your family. Since Adam already picked Ratchet, I'm going to go with Supreme Commander. It's a real-time strategy game. It's very difficult, but it's going to be worth the work you're going to put into it. By Assassin's Creed, you're part of the problem. For 2007, I recommend the Orange Box. Everybody down on the ground! Coming up, games for the people on your list who aren't worth full price. And later, our picks for the Wii on next play Welcome back to X Play's Holiday Buyer's Guide. Now, we've got one or two people on the old shopping list that we'd really rather not blow 60 bucks on. So to help you fulfill social obligations with the least financial hardship, here's a special holiday edition of Games for Cheap Bastards. There are certain things you don't skimp on. Food, booze, and games. But I know some of you are going to, so here's a little help, cheap bastards. Okay, Tightwad, I'm guessing you haven't gone next gen yet, but in case you have, you've actually got a few really great options. A steal at just under $30 is Fight Night Round 3 for the PS3. Frenetic action, great graphics, and lots of spit and blood. It's perfect for the holidays. If it's a 360 deal you're after, the zombie beatdown classic Dead Rising is also now available for under 30. It's strangely appropriate given that this is what malls usually look like during the holidays, as well as the rest of the year. MLB Power Pros for the Wii is great not only because it is cheap, coming in at just under 30, it's also fun, has a wide age range, and is available on the most affordable next-gen system, which I know you love, Scrooge. If you're looking for a deal on the PS2, you're in luck. There are myriad titles available for under 30 bucks, many of which are actually still pretty tolerable. How about the Disney meets Final Fantasy hack and slash adventure Kingdom Hearts 2? Yes, it's a sequel, but guess what? The original Kingdom Hearts is also available on the cheap. See your local bargain bin for details. We know you know where that is, you cheap ass. Our top pick for all you bargain hunters out there are the New York Times crosswords for the DS. Not only is it dirt cheap, coming in at around 10 measly dollars, it's actually more affordable than buying the paper every day to play the crossword. It should offer the recipient a modern amount of fun while at the same time conveying the message that you really didn't put that much thought into this gift other than to look at the price. Maybe leave the tag on it to let that really sink in. During the holidays, remember, it's the thought that counts. Unless that thought is, what's the least I can spend on this and get away with it? Happy whatever, you cheap bastard. With the advent of online play as a mainstream feature, we now have the ability to make gaming a social activity without being forced to play them with family members we prefer to ostracize. Here are some recommendations for those who like their gaming without even a remote possibility of eye contact. Well, it's that most wonderful time of the year again. 
But let's face it, you and I both know that in this day of age, no one is swinging popcorn or roasting chestnuts or doing whatever it is you do with a Yule log. And chances are, it's because you're too busy playing your precious reindeer games. I mean, video games. So, in addition to tidings of comfort and joy, we also bring you the Holiday Buyer's Guide for Online and MMO Games. You may have heard of a little MMORPG called World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade. Yes, Santa's Workshop has been bustling with Blood Elves this year to bring you this expansion pack. It's new, it's wow, what more could you ask for? And Hark, what are those Herald Angels singing? Wait, no, I think it's a call. A Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare that is. So gather round, forget caroling, and grab your heavy artillery. Kiss me! Now, as you're tearing the paper off those non-denominational holiday packages, be careful not to let the orange box get lost in the shuffle. This compilation has a lot to offer. Hey, Knucklehead! I'm talking to you, bug! So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving and spread some holiday cheer and assorted body parts with Team Fortress 2 for the orange box. So much love! And just in case Santa Claus is as senile as he looks, you might need to remind him that an angel like you deserves Halo 3. You know it, you love it, and you probably want some more of it. And last but not least is Tabula Rasa. Sure, there's no good holiday play on words for this one, but don't go hold it against this MMO. Let's just say it's worth putting down your latkes and gelt to save humanity from an alien race. So, in this season of family and togetherness, let's all agree that avoiding social interaction with real people is key to surviving the holidays. So get comfortable, enjoy the nog while it lasts, and don't come up until New Year's. As our consumers' culture dictates, the best thing about the holidays is freebies. That's why this Christmas G4 offers you free stuff. Kevin Pereira and I will show off the newest swag, and then we're going to give it away, including our biggest prize yet, a trip for two to Japan and 100,000 yen in spending money. Log on to our website, g4tv.com slash free stuff to find out how to win. Then watch free stuff on Christmas Day, 3 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, right here on G4. Let's go to the gaming update with our friend, Joel Gordine. Thanks, Morgan. Coming up, Halo 3 receives more maps for its multiplayer experience. Nintendo's DS takes over 2007 and a new Blizzard MMORPG. All that coming up in 60 seconds. Viewers agree, Attack of the Show is the source for everything you care about. We really do know what you want. Attack of the Show, tomorrow at 7 and 11 on G4. Take a peek inside the real adult world. The Adult Entertainment Expo from Las Vegas. Two hours of the industry's hottest girls and latest gadgets. And only one network has the cojones to cover it. I'm from Utah and I've never seen anything like this in my life. Keep in mind, little dabble do ya. The Adult Entertainment Expo 08, January 13th, only on G4. Video games are evolving. And now, so are we. Introducing the all new X Play. Now with news, reviews, cheats, demos, interactivity. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The all new X Play, January 14th, only on G4. Bungie Studios released the first in a series of Halo 3 downloadable content yesterday. Xbox Live users can purchase the heroic map pack, which includes Standoff, Rat's Nest, and Foundry for 800 Microsoft points. The Nintendo DS will finish 2007 as the year's top-selling video game system. As of November 30th, the touch-based handheld has sold over 6 million units, with an astonishing 650,000 DS's purchased during Thanksgiving week alone. Finally, the World of Warcraft forums were buzzing after Blizzard's recent job listing for a lead 3D character artist on a next-gen MMO. Blizzard community representative Drisk confirmed the company is seeking employees on an unannounced MMO, and the new project will not be a World of Warcraft expansion. Be sure to visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash xplay to get up-to-the-minute video game news. I'm Joel Gordine. There's your gaming update. Welcome back to X Play's Holiday Buyer's Guide. Last year, you'd have to fight to the death with Aunt Thelma and Grandma Priscilla over who got to give Twilight Princess to the one person in the family lucky enough to find a Wii. A greatly expanded library of top-notch titles means far less bloodshed in 2007. 
This holiday season, Wheeze will continue to fly off store shelves faster than fried chicken at John Goodman's dinner table. And Super Mario Galaxy is a huge reason why. It's the best Mario game in a long, long time. And some may say the best ever. Working really smoothly with the Wii controls, Galaxy has everything a Mario platforming fan craves and desires. Plus, it takes place out there. Is it the best game for the Wii thus far? Yes, and that's why it received X-Play's highest honor with a 5 out of 5. <laughs> Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbaro's Treasure is a globe-spanning rat race-esque adventure to find treasure. Pirate Barbaro's got it. Zack and his disease-riddled monkey friend Wiki want it. So you're off in search of items, puzzles, and good times. Plus, there's more tools here than at a Stargate SG-1 convention. If you get confused, the star of the movie Powder is here to set things straight. You won't want to euthanize this game. <laughs> Metroid Prime 3 Corruption is one of the nicest looking games to make its way to Weedom. There's a virus floating around and Samus, as always, has to save the day without getting infected. That's a tall order. But with the Wii controllers, Samus should have no problem. Your wrist might have a problem, but that's a small price to pay for saving the universe. Corruption concludes the trilogy in the most proper and satisfying way, on the Wii. If it's X-Play's Buyer's Guide, you know there has to be a mention of Resident Evil 4 somewhere. And here it is, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. We love this game, we love the Wii, so why not combine the two into one big orgasmic frenzy? It's game time. It's the same RE4 you've grown to love, if you've grown to love RE4. And with the Wii Mote, you can even take a nice swim around the countryside. Now that's evil. Resident Evil. Hey, take it easy. We started this with Mario, we'll end it with Wario. We're symmetrical that way. WarioWare's Smooth Moves is a ponderous MMO that leads you on an adventure through the vast netherworlds of... No, I can't fool you guys. It's minigame after minigame after minigame. Over 200 of them. And each one uses the Wii in the most novel of ways. You want to take the Wii through the wild, weird, and wacky? Really, where else are you going to look? Smooth Moves may be short, but that didn't stop Danny DeVito. It shouldn't stop you. Thanks to the Wii and the DS, thousands of people who never touched a video game before are picking up the hobby. In recognition of the new additions to our nerdy family, here are some games we recommend especially for new gamers. For years, inexperienced gamers have suffered great indignity and discrimination in their social and professional lives. As an outsider in the world of gaming, you probably find the prospect of gaming overwhelming and downright frustrating. Well, quit your crying and pull yourself together, because we can help. In hopes of bringing people together and making the world a gamier place, we have a list for people like you. With these five games for new gamers, you too might someday be one of the beautiful gamer people. You'll want to start off slow, and what's slower than Brain Age 2? This vigorous exercise for your mind includes such fun as word jumbles, math problems, and rock, paper, scissors. And don't worry, you won't be lost if you miss the first Brain Age. Moving on, you'll definitely want to give the New York Times crossword puzzle a try. If you've ever done a crossword puzzle, this should be simple and stress-free. In fact, if you've ever seen or even heard of a crossword puzzle, you should be okay. And even new gamers can get excited by the Olympics. It's full of familiar games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games for the Wii lets you try your hand at all the sports that you're probably not good at in real life. So swim, long jump, and fence to your heart's content. <laughs> LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga is perfect for fans of Star Wars, LEGOs, and combinations thereof. The great thing about this one is that the cutscenes are so adorable that you'll forget you're even playing a game. But enough coddling. Eventually, you have to grow up, learn to use a gun, and start shooting zombies. So, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles is a good place to start. Thank goodness! It's an all-around accessible shooter with easy controls. So there you have it, young gamers. Take it one step at a time, and soon enough, you'll be gaming with the best of them. Well, it seems like just about everyone has a Nintendo DS these days, which makes a DS game a pretty safe bet for a gift choice. To help sift through the endless stream of DS titles, here's the best of the best for Nintendo's ubiquitous handheld.
While it might be hard to cram some of the larger console games into hanging footwear, titles for the Nintendo DS, as well as the system itself, are perfect stocking stuffers for the on-the-go gamer on your list. Okay, got it. First up, we have Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Because you can't spread holiday cheer without spreading a little manure, too. The newest addition to the Harvest Moon family now includes combat as well as farming. With adorable graphics and deliberate gameplay that series fans will still find engaging, you can lose yourself in Rune Factory when your aunt starts offering eggnog body shots. Terrific! Final Fantasy VI Advance is next. Yes, the game is 10 years old. Yes, it was originally for the GBA, but damn it, it's hands down one of the very best Final Fantasy games ever. If you didn't play it when it was originally released on the Super Nintendo, you're in for a treat. Even if you clean Kepka's clock back in 94, there's a new translation from the original Japanese. New dungeons, new espers, and a chocobo in a pear tree. No, you didn't change channels to MTV in 1985. This is Hotel Dusk, not the music video for AHA's Take On Me. With a convoluted plot, clever stylus puzzles, and more roadhouse mysteries than the lyrics to Hotel California, the plot of Hotel Dusk will draw you in despite its meticulous pace. It's all about the details as you make your way around the flop house, interviewing tenants and digging up clues. There's plenty of room at this end for anyone with a passion for problem solving. What would a handheld buyer's guide be without a Pokemon game? This year saw one or two of the best, with Pokemon, Diamond, and Pearl. While Diamond and Pearl really don't advance much in terms of what you do, explore the world, collect Pokemon, and pit them against each other in a friendly competition, not unlike cockfighting. The real excitement is playing and trading with your friends over the DS's wireless connection. So, despite my usual Pokemon dread, visions of Prinplup danced in my head. And who's this delivering presents from a snowy sky? It's you, dropping those exploding gifts to the enemies of the USA in Glory Days 2. In this combination arcade shooter and real-time strategy, you take a stylus-on approach to piloting your aircraft and collecting resources to build up your army. Glory Days 2 is the perfect gift for the side-scrolling maverick in your life. Or Goose. Or Iceman. I envy kids today. Years from now, they'll be able to look back on Christmas's past and remember everyone sitting around the toasty living room, noses buried in their portable gaming systems, not interacting with one another except for the occasional wordless Mario Kart DS race, just like in that Silent Night song. Up next, what to get for your least favorite siblings, and later, which games you should avoid this year. Welcome back to X-Play's Holiday Buyer's Guide. The DS may rule the handheld world, but there are those of us who prefer more complex 3D graphics, a higher fidelity audio platform, and maybe a dash of load time for that discerning handheld gamer. Here are our picks for the PFP. This holiday season, if you are one of the chosen ones to get a PSP in your Christmas stocking, don't despair because you wanted the Nintendo DS. Here are five PSP games to ring in the new year with. What better way to bring peace, joy, and goodwill to all men than by hanging out with Count Dracula and all his wacky friends in Castlevania The Dracula X Chronicles? You think hanging out with your family is hell? This, this is hell. This Devil May Care side-scroller will give you hours of gothic fun. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus is the perfect game when you just want to sneak out of the house, find a sleazy perp, and choke, choke, choke that son of a bitch. Now that's Christmas. With Portable Ops Plus, the portable means it's portable, the ops means it's stealthy. And the plus? Well, that depends on you. Which brings us to Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions. Final Fantasy games are perfect for the PSP. It can take your typical Final Fantasy fan on a journey to the most intimidating place of all, outside. The War of the Lions roars with fun. Ah, finally, something educational, sort of. Jean d'Arc, an RPG that combines two things gamers really love, history and the French. With a slick anime spin and what the hipsters call soul power, you too can battle your way to your lifelong goal of martyrdom. Nothing says season's greetings like fiery death at the stake. 
finally, we've got Ratchet & Clank Size Matters. If Ratchet & Clank is on your gaming system, you buy it or ask Santa or some other fictional denominational gift-giving zealot to bring it to you. I don't really care. The graphics are impressive for the handheld, the story's original, and since this is the PSP, there's quicker power-ups. In this instance, and this instance only, size really doesn't matter. And when you are forced to include that certain reviled someone on your Christmas list, you're looking for a very specific type of item. Here are five games that nobody will have fun with. It's pretty clear what's wrong with the Wii game Boogie, and it's not just this terrible cover of a song from Greece. No, the problem is the unresponsive rhythm-based control scheme. The game offers a click track for you to follow along with, but it's completely out of sync with the song. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Everything is set for the extermination team. Another game for someone you truly hate is Vampire Rain. It's an Xbox 360 game that tries to combine the stealth-based missions of Splinter Cell with the campy action of Blood Rain. You see, in the world of this game, vampires, aka Nightwalkers, are roaming the earth killing off humans. Nightwalker! But instead of fighting your way through them, you'll actually be participating in agonizingly dull sneaking missions. Yes, it's true. Vampires do suck. I kind of figured they'd say that. You Are Empty is a creatively bankrupt PC shooter that essentially defines the word mindless. You'll spend all of your time running from alleyway to alleyway as you shoot mutant monsters in the face. Where did they all come from, you ask? Well, they were created by Soviet scientists in an alternate historical timeline, of course, and that makes about as much sense as these community theater quality voice performances. The trouble came from the city! Ah! Ah! But none of these atrocities compare to the sensory assault that is Escape from Bug Island. Released on the Wii last summer, this game lets you play as Ray, a young man who takes a vacation to Bug Island with his love interest, Michelle. Oh, and your obnoxious friend Mike tags along to help deliver amazingly stilted dialogue. You know, if you keep staring like that, you're gonna go blind. The game features an overly complicated control scheme, but even if that wasn't a problem, this would still be a huge turd. Try explaining it in English this time. Let me put it this way. You should only give this to a gamer you hate. We know that not everyone has moved on to the next-gen system, so here's a fine selection of PlayStation 2 software for your holiday needs. But this is the last time we do it. If you don't have a next-gen system by next year, you can do your own damn research. So you have to get a gift for someone you know with a PS2, huh? The good news, you do have options, and they won't be hard on the old coin purse. Sound the horn and allow them to celebrate our glory. This year, why not give that special someone the gift of wrath, hand-delivered by our favorite brooding Spartan, Kratos. This time, it's Zeus who will incur his bloody vengeance in God of War 2, a welcome gift for any self-respecting PS2 owner. Actually, if that's the case, they'll probably already own it. Just buy them one and two and pretend you didn't know. Zeus! You know what kind of gifts I love? Anything loosely based on Norse mythology. Hey, here's something. Odin's fear. Although simple, this colorful, visually rich journey into the secrets of the Crystal Cauldron definitely combines aspects of a side-scrolling adventure with a classic RPG. Celebrate what you will. No holiday is complete without a massive amount of gunshot-inflicted teen suicide. A commodity overflowing in Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3. Don't worry, they're not taking the coward's way out. They're doing it to release magical creatures from their heads. A wisely chosen attack. It's always safe to go with a classic, so take your special gamer back to their roots with Tomb Raider Anniversary. If it's a gift for a girl, a positive female role model might make them feel empowered to seek adventure in their own lives. If it's for a guy, well, I'm sure they'll find something to like about it too. When all is said and done, the best gift you could get for someone with a PS2 is a new system. A 360, a Wii even. Come on, the PS3 is not as expensive as it used to be. Help your friend get over whatever is causing them to hold on to the past. That technology is so advanced we can't make it work. PS2 ownership is a cry for help. Don't let that cry go unanswered. 
not during the holidays. There are obviously tons of good games out there for the PlayStation 2 and more come out every month. But really, why not just ask for a new game system for Christmas? It's really not next gen anymore, it's now gen. Maybe it's just gen. Next up, some games you should avoid giving this winter season. And we pick the cream of the 360 crop. Welcome back to x Play's Holiday Buyer's Guide. One of the pitfalls of shopping for Christmas, Hanukkah, and or Festivus gifts is the dreaded, overhyped, crappy game. To avoid seeing that flash of disappointment followed by a forced smile of thanks on your special someone's face, here's a few titles to avoid while you're out in the wilds of retail. One of the most anticipated games on the PlayStation 3 this year, Lair, proved a disappointment all around. It's more or less just Rogue Squadron hose down and Dragon Juice. Yeah. On top of that, the six axis controls are disastrous and can't be turned off. Bomb them before they re -arm. So, you're stuck vaguely controlling a wobbly dragon with auto aim. The darkness sure looks cool. Good visuals, you're a mafia hitman with the ability to generate snakes of evil out of your shoulders. But the gameplay is utterly routine, and the level design will leave you confused and probably bored. No matter how neat the shots on the box look, in this year of first-person shooting glory, there's no room under the tree for the darkness. You'd think it would be a sure winner, but the Wii Zapper bitterly disappointed us. It's awkward to use, mainly because it's too small for most adult hands. The trigger's on the front, making things more awkward, and wiggling the controller or pressing the A button is pretty much impossible. Unless you're really into crossbows, you should probably just use the regular Wiimote instead of this contraption. Hellgate London is actually pretty fun at its core. Diablo in 3D with guns? Not so fast. Besides tons of bugs and wonky performance issues, attempting to gouge to split the player base with a paid monthly subscription for nebulous upcoming content seems sketchy to us. After paying $50 for the game already, another $10 a month for the ability to start a guild is kind of ridiculous. Finally, Crisis is touted as the ultimate graphical beast in the gaming world, and it certainly lives up to that title. The foliage is beautiful, the physics are impeccable, the explosions are lovely, but underneath all the glamour lies a pretty average first-person shooting experience. Besides, if the person you're buying Crisis for has the hardware to run Crisis, they already have Crisis. To give you perspective on how much upgrading your PC to play Crisis will cost, expect to spend at least $2,000 to meet the recommended requirements. Oh yeah, and the $50 for the game. So, maybe you're looking at console titles instead. The 360 has had the most impressive line of offerings this year. Here's a look. Sure, your Christmas tree is colorful. But if you try and play with it, you'll end up knocking it over just like Dad when he drank too much of his medicine. Better head on over to your trusty Xbox 360 where you'll never run out of things to decorate with your frag-nasty taste for destruction. I love the holidays. Our first game tearing through your senses with mind-dissolving value is naturally a Triple Crown winner. Wait. Halo 3 has a great story, awesome multiplayer, and the ability to save and share your exploits with the Xbox Live community. A new armada of vehicles and weapons guide Chief Slay through soaring landscapes of noisy Grinches. Multiplayer moves within detailed levels. If your victim's water is weak, you can always get them going with a fresh tea bag. Even the ring around baby Jesus' head can't compete with this halo. Crackdown places you in a nutcracker-like realm of dancing inner-city fairies and threatened innocents. The carnage? Well, that looks like wrapping paper torn from gifts by anxious children. A dead freak is a good freak. Our next holiday must-have captures the spirit of holiday fellowship as only the Japanese can. Ace Combat 6 Fires of Liberation will be like wondering what the hell is in the eggnog as you delight in trying to figure out the subtext of a game pitting Amerians versus Estovakians. And the Golden King smile upon us. 
a variety of mission types, lampshades bore them at the holiday office party with all-out assaults, ground support missions, and acrobatic excess. Another 360 gift for your consideration celebrates the joy of togetherness. Overlord brings one tin-clad Scrooge together with many tiny Tim Cratchits to bring cheer to the less fortunate. With color-coded minions delivering your wrath in strategic ways, mirth will fill the land. Blood! Blood! How about a holiday suggestion that can involve you until next year's Buyer's Guide? Mass Effect drapes you in an immersive universe of real-time combat and deathless decision-making. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. It's all in how you say it, or drive it, that will enable your yet-to-be-decided destiny. There you have it, holiday buyers. X-Plays hits for the Xbox 360. Ho, ho. Now, we recommend that with all the games on this list, you go ahead and use Xbox Live to install the available updates. They all bring great additions to the experience. And of course, don't forget about Xbox Live Arcade's huge selection. And if you're totally out of ideas for a 360 owner, you can never go wrong with Microsoft Points gift cards. Okay, so speaking of major improvements to a great experience, next year X-Play levels up. Starting January 14th, we will expand beyond our brutally honest reviews to include breaking news and reactions from the gaming industry, one-on-one -on -one interviews with the biggest and brightest, as well as hands-on demos with every game you are going to be talking about. Now, that's only the beginning of your essential five-day-a-week source for the most trusted views on gaming. The all-new X-Play starts January 14th. And there's a new logo. And now, as our holiday buyer's guy winds down, we'll show you why we keep most of the staff behind the camera for the rest of the year. Let's have a wonderful Happy holidays and happy me. Spirits rising, it's party time. Let's have a lovely Christmas time. Bueno Feliz Navidad for me and Senor Nalvis. Remember that cold, cold Christmas? It all seemed so very long ago. Happy Holidays! Oh, it's Christmas. <laughs> Let's have a wonderful <laughs> Christmas time. I'm so happy forever you'll be mine. Let's have a lovely Christmas time. Have a lovely Christmas time. From our dysfunctional family to yours, happy holidays. Well, it's going to be another 365 days until you see that much sincerity. But, but there yes. are games to play during that time. Exactly, so you don't have to miss the sincerity. I mean, it has been a great year for games. And by year, I mean November to December. Kind of like, yeah, Bioshock to now, but really just pretty much right now. Because that, that summer period yeah. was dreadful. It was awful. There was, was really, really nothing bad. to do. I mean, you would take home games just because you're like, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a great time right now. This is fun. I'm miserable. I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air. Yeah, I, I, I almost <laughs> picked up reading. That's how desperate it actually got. But thankfully, things really you know, got saved right there. And 2008 may be better because I think they're going to spread more of the releases throughout yes. the year. We're going to have a little quiet period in January, but people can go catch up on Mass Effect and then exactly. they can play Super Smash Brothers when that comes out. And then, and then we're going to have things like yeah. probably Too Human, Metal well, Gear Solid happy 4. happy shopping. Oh. Thanks for watching X-Play.